Okay, viewers, well, today I'm going to try and test the performance of this antenna I made. Shortwave radio. I normally jump the leads out of my collection. Every single one, of all, all ten of them, plus these two one meter ones I made at school a long time ago. You look right up there, you got a little AM loop antenna sitting on um, that rafter there. Got a nice long antenna there. It's probably not high enough, but we'll try and see how good um, performance we get out of this. It's going to be a bit difficult to do this with one hand, but just bear with me. Hang on, I'll stop the video. I'll try and make a little setup here. I can set this radio up and try and get both hands free here, so yeah. Okay, I've always well got my antenna still set up here. It's probably not high enough, but we'll give it a try. Now we'll switch it on. Let's do a little search, see what we can get. I was getting the um, Radio Australia on this thing last night. I mostly get stations from China on this. Some farty noise there. <laughs> Lots of tuning involved. But this antenna I made is pretty doing something. I have to be outside to get a good reception with this. I might have to raise that antenna a bit. Doing something, you can see how I've got my antenna set up here. I've got this training wire for some tomato plants in the garden. I just hooked this AA on loop antenna just on the end of it. And that's supposed to plug straight into the radio yeah, when I'm using it indoors. I've got my alligator clip clamped straight under that. I'm going to hope that doesn't let go. It's only just holding on there. But yeah, it goes all the way from there. A couple of metres to the... On this fan, I just looped it around there um, carefully around the washer. So it doesn't pull from here. Um, but I was listening to I, I was listening to 31 M. I think I was the last. Uh, that's what I, where I was last night. Somewhere in that range, might be the, might have been a 41 M. So it was an Australian station in that range somewhere. Yeah, it doesn't work. There must be only some set time of the day. It must only be going. Something, but not very good. Let's use SSB function here. Very cool, doesn't pick up anything. Station, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, that antenna needs to be much, much higher and much, much longer to get a good reception. That was a hole there, I'm going to trip over. See what I can get. Shooting mm -hmm. lights on, it's something. Don't know what's going on there.
Whether they still had confidence in Mr. Khan as leader of the Fina Foreign Party, a majority of the parliamentary have voted yes. The size of his victory was not revealed. But within minutes of the memory. result, the Prime this Minister's the main critic, the Foreign Minister, this one in your memory. Martin, an ice station. station. More fighting sounds. <laughs> Oh, so I think I was doing something. There was an abandoned set of power poles that weren't used around our property. They had power lines on them that weren't connected. I could have used them as an antenna and that would have been pretty cool. It's going to be a long, boring video, but I'm going to find something that's Australian, surely. Alright, oh, viewers, I have a little fiddle around here. I'll stop the video here and try and get something interesting here. Uh, viewers, only English station I found is here, 7.5 MHz, 7.7 MHz, which happens to be in the 16 meter range. But yeah, that's a pretty short antenna. That would probably be the um, most I'll get with an antenna that long. There's a big antenna way down there. You see it from here. That guy's a hand radio operator with an antenna. That antenna is nearly 100 metres high. And yeah, that guy looks like he's a radio, a ham, ham radio operator. He's got a lot of um, antennas and stuff, so he'll be picking up some pretty interesting stuff for that. But yeah, just Chinese stuff today. Nothing interesting, so that's how I did my antenna. It's improved, but. I'm only getting Chinese stuff, so better than nothing, but yeah. Thanks for watching.